Hi, good morning, students. I am Mohit sir. So today I will start a new chapter of your class eight, which is chapter number four, which is exponent and power. So it's very important chapter. Okay. So uh, before starting the chapter, we just uh, discuss some uh, definition or about some introduction. Okay. So first one is introduction. Introduction. Okay. So whenever, whenever we multiply whenever we multiply a given number a given number a given number to itself to itself several times several times we can express it we can express it as a power of s its powers okay so that with some examples you can easily understand whatever i am saying here so suppose you multiply 5 6 times Okay. In this case, uh, look at the example uh, carefully. In this case, we multiply 5, the number 5, 6 times itself. Which, uh, 5 into 5 into 5, no, there, there is no any other number. The, the main, the only number is 5 and we multiply 5 into 6 times. 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. Okay. So, it can be written as in a short form 5 to the power 6. This 5 is because of which number we multiplied. The number 5 multiplied, that is why you write 5 here. And how many times you multiply, we write here. 5 to the power, it is uh, actually 5 to the power 5 to the power 6. Okay, that means uh, 6 is power of 5. Okay, and this, uh, this 5 is known as base. Okay. And this 6 is known as exponent. Clear? Suppose another example minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2. Suppose you minus, uh, multiply minus 2 3 times itself. Then you can write minus 2 whole to the power 3. Again, this is the exponent and this is the base. Okay? So come to the next part. Okay, so uh, suppose powers powers with negative with negative exponent negative exponent. Okay, so power is suppose negative exponent. That means suppose uh, two to the power not two to the power. So suppose you take ten to the power minus one. So which is you have to return one by ten. 10 to the power minus 2 you have to return 10 square which is 1 by 100 10 to the power minus 3 so 1 by 10 cube that means 1 by 1000 why 1000? 10 cube means 1000 actually this is the formula a to the power minus n equal to 1 by a to the power n so later we discuss about the formula but uh, just I uh, saying, uh, saying here because uh, powers with negative exponent suppose in this case base is a and uh, my n is uh, exponent but n is in the form of minus n that means negative exponent okay so whenever uh, there is a negative exponent a to the power minus n which is equal to 1 by a to the power n clear in this case negative symbol omits Neg negative symbol omits therefore we have to write this one is the denominator Okay, don't give again negative symbol here. This negative a to the power minus n equal 1 by a to the power n. Okay, so let us now discuss some formulas, laws of exponents. Already, some of laws, all of you, not in class uh, 7. This is very important chapter. 
So suppose loss of exponent. So number one, a to the power m into a to the power n equal to a to the power m plus n. Okay? Where when m and n are integers all of you learn about integers in class 7 okay so a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n clear the first formula first law so let us say with examples suppose 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 4 equal to 2 to the power 7 yeah so you can uh, you can uh, say this on left hand side 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 3 is what 8 and 2 to the power 4 is what 16 so you multiply 8 6 are 48 and 12 so 128 now right hand side you can say 2 to the power 7 so 2 to the power 7 is what 2 into 2 into 2 8 when you multiply when you multiply 2 cube equal to 8 okay okay again uh, Suppose uh, two in, you can write as two into two four, okay? Two into two into two eight. Two to the power four already you done sixteen. So again, if you multiply two, uh, two to the power, by two to the power five thirty two. Two to the power six suppose uh, sixty four. Two to the power seven you get twenty one twenty eight. So two to the power seven is one twenty eight. You can uh, solve this by your own way, okay? But that means uh, left hand side equal to right hand side. So the first formula is. Verified. So formula is what a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. But remember one thing where m n m m n n are integers, must be integers. Okay. So come to the next formula. So come to the next formula, which is two. So 2 is a to the power m divided by a to the power n, then this one will be minus. So a to the power m divided by a to the power n equal to a to the power minus, a to the power m minus n where m and n both are integers. Okay, so you can take one example. Suppose uh, 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 1. That means 2 to the power 3 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power 2. Now by the formula, okay. So left hand side. Suppose you take the left hand side this one so 2 cube divided by 2 to the power 1 that means 2 cube by 2 to the power 1 so 2 cube means 8 and 2 to the power 1 means 2 that means 4 okay so now right hand side 2 square 2 square is equal to 4 so both left hand side and right hand side are equal that means the formula 2 is verified here so remember this one a to the power m divided by a to the power m is equal to a to the power m minus n okay so now, now come to the third formula, third law, which is a to the power m whole to the power n equal to a to the power m into n. Well, same case, both m are in m and r, m and sorry, m and n are integers. Okay, so a to the power m whole to the power n equal to a to the power m, and that means. Uh, this n is a power of n again n is the whole to the power of a to the power n that means uh, in this case these two powers are multiplied okay base remains same but these two powers are multiplied so example you can say suppose 2 cube like this so which is 2 to the power 3 into 2 that means 2 to the power 6 okay so left hand side you can take so 2 cube whole square 2 cube means that 8 so 8 square means that 64 and this one, this one is 2 to the power 6 right hand side so 2 to the power 6 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 32 to the 2 64 so both left hand side and right hand side are equal so this one is verified so a remember this one a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n that means whenever there is a power there is a power n in the power of a to the power m then after uh, simplification that both the powers are multiplied okay so now comes uh, formula number four 
So for loss number 4, this one is a to the power m. This formula is uh, a into b whole to the power m. So remember, look at this one. In this case, in the previous three form uh, loss, uh, both the base are bases, both the base are same, powers are different. But in this case, bases are different, powers is same. Okay, so a into b whole to the power m, which is equal to a to the power m into b to the power m, where m is the integers. That means if two number is multiplied n, you take a power whole power, power hold, hold to both that numbers, then it is equal to the separately one number to the power that number into one power one number to the power the that number. So suppose you take example in this case, a, a and b is multiplied and, and we take a power m of that multiplication whenever you derive that this to the power this and in between a and b there is a multiplication symbol that is why you write multiplication and b to the power m so you can take a number suppose 2 into 3 whole to the power m okay so that means you, uh, whole to the power suppose 2 so uh, this one okay so right hand side uh, left hand side you take uh, 2 into 3 6 so 6 square that means 36 and right hand side you write 2 square into 3 square 2 square means of 4 3 square means of 9 so 9 4 is 36 clear so this formula is verified I can I repeat the, uh, this one uh, if a into b whole to the power m that means a to the power m into b to the power m these two numbers are these two numbers uh, actually uh, multiplied that is why after simplification it will uh, one number to the power that to that the given power into b into the next powers okay so next one is 5 5 is similar to 4 but uh, instead of division so instead of multiplication there is a division so suppose a by b whole to the power m then it becomes a to the power m divided by b to the power m you can take again some example suppose a is 4 and b is suppose 2 and this one is suppose 3 so uh, this one is 4 3 to the power 3 so you can take left hand side 4 by 2 whole cube so 4 by 2 means 2 2 cube 2 cube means 8 and right hand side you can take 4 cube divided by 2 cube. 4 cube means 64 and 2 cube means 8. So this one is it. So left hand side, right hand side equal. So a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m divided by b to the power m. Okay. So law number 6 is very important, which is actually this one 6 a to the power 0 equal to 1 very important this one that means a in a number to the power 0 is equal to 1 any number to the power 0 is equal to 1 okay any one of minus 1 whole to the power 0 equal to 1 2 to the power 0 equal to 1 okay clear and question number 7 already we discussed a to the power minus n equal to 1 by a to the power n this one if you take a negative exponent then after simplification it will be 1 by that uh, 1 divided by with a positive exponent same exponent with the same base clear suppose 2 uh, 2 to the power minus 3 2 to the power minus 3 that means 1 by 2 to the power 3 that means 1 by 8 like this okay i think all of you understand this so in my next video i will uh, solve the question okay